नमस्कार दिस इज रोहित शंकर माने एंड यू आर वॉचिंग साइंटिस्ट आर अकेडमी टू वर्ड साइंटिफिक वर्ल्ड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल फॉर मोर साइंटिफिक वीडियोस एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकॉन फॉर अपडेट्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द टैक्सोनॉमी ऑफ बैक्टीरिया सेल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देयर मॉर्फोलॉजी व्हाई देयर इज नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द टैक्सोनॉमी एंड द डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बैक्टीरियल सेल एंड द डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशंस लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द साइंस ऑफ नेमिंग एंड क्लासिफाइंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इज कॉल्ड टैक्सोनॉमी Three separate but interrelated disciplines are involved in the taxonomy, such as identification that is characterizing organisms, classification arranging into similar groups, nomenclature that is organisms naming. Organizing larger organisms based on morphology is often quite simple, such as fins, legs, feathers, fur, etc. But with prokaryotes, it is not that much as simple. Prokaryotic classification involves the technologies used to characterize and identification of prokaryotes with respect to microscopic examination, culture characteristics, biochemical testing, nucleic acid analysis. Combination of the above is most accurate. Taxonomic classification categories are arranged in hierarchical order, and species is basic unit. Now it starts with the domain, kingdom, phylum or division, class, order, family, genus and species. So in short. The science of naming and classifying organisms is the taxonomy and taxonomy is totally depends on the identification classification and the nomenclature of each and every organism where the nomenclature or the taxonomy is very easy as far as eukaryotic organisms are concerned but in case of prokaryotic organism it is not that much easy because here we have to understand the different characteristics such as microscopic cultural biochemical nucleic acid analysis and different different characteristics the species is the basic unit of life the importance of taxonomy so why there is a need to understand the taxonomy so here we go it allows us to organize huge amounts of knowledge about the organisms taxonomy allows for predictions and frame hypothesis for further research based off on knowledge of similar organisms it places microorganisms in meaningful useful groups with precise names so that microbiologists can work with them and communicate efficiently it is essential for accurate identification of microorganisms and it is the microbial evolution and diversity that we can easily understand next one we can easily understand the universal phylogenetic tree so these are some importance of taxonomy now first one classification of microorganism that is bacteria based on phyla based on the morphology dna sequencing conditions required and biochemistry scientists have classified a bacteria into phyla That is aquifers, cyanobacteria, fibrobacteria, bacteroids, firmicutes, placentomycetes, cryogenetic, cyanobacteria, thermomicrobial, uh, chlorobia, proteobacteria, spirochetes, flavobacteria, fusobacteria, and vircomicrobia. Each phylum further corresponds to number of species and genera of bacteria. The bacterial classification includes bacteria which are found in various types of environment such as high ph environment low ph environment high temperature uh, environment low temperature environment and the many more things next one the burgis classification of bacteria now we know that burgis manual of classification one of the more comprehensive bacterial classification manual has been burgis manual of determinative bacteriology because of ongoing taxonomic studies new species are continuously being described and changes are made first division is the cyanobacteria division formerly known as blue green alga this bacteria can use light as the energy source under the aerobic conditions and uses co2 as oxygen division second is about the bacteria where it includes the photobacteria and all other classical bacteria and division third is about the archaebacteria where mixed within the 19 parts of the book and this is the burgis manual classification of organisms where we can see the bacteria archaebacteria and eukaryotes Next is the classification of bacteria by nutritional requirements. We know that carbon source and energy source are the two main important sources uh, for the bacterial growth. Now here on the base of carbon sources we have two types that's organic and inorganic. Organic uh, like those are using organic carbon source known as heterotrophs and those organisms are using inorganic carbon source known as autotrophs. Now organic is the hard to simple and complex one. energy source now those organisms are uh, using chemical energy source known as chemotrophs and those uh, those organisms are using light as energy source known as phototrophs now chemical is divided into inorganic and organic inorganic is known as chemolithotrophs organic is the chemoorganotrophs 
Now, classification based on shapes and colony morphology. Now, here we can see these bacterial morphologies and their examples, cell arrangement and their example. Now, here the straight rod, first example is uh, Isosha coli, uh, club shaped rod that is Cornibacterium, branching rod, Actinomyces, comma forms, Vibrio, spur forming rod, Bacillus, spiral form, Spirochete, Cocos, Staphylococcus. In cell arrangement, we can see the Cocos. Here, if we have a division in plane known as the diplococca or chain, example Nizeria and Streptococcus. If we have division in two planes, that is tetrad, example is Arsina. And if we have division in three planes, that is cluster, that is Staphylococcus. If you have any question, you can comment. Thanks a lot.